Welcome fans to the cockpit of November 6168 Foxtrot. Wanted to uh, make a short video today highlighting the additional level of realism that I've recently added to my simulator by adding vibrations to the uh, chair that I'm sitting in. So you may recall from a recent video the um, chair that I got from a friend of mine who was moving. And um, they also had other accessories that um, I was able to take possession of, one of which were these bass kickers from Aura Sound. Uh, this one was originally attached under a uh, carpeted wooden base that her rudder pedal sat on. Now, I removed it from there temporarily because, again, from an earlier video, I have this custom height table here, and the distance from the yoke stem here to the floor approximates what it is in the real aircraft. So putting my rudder pedals on a base was took away from the realism and would be too cramped. Although I do have a point I'll make about that at the end of the video. So, let me slide this over here. So here's the chair. It's the back seat out of a Toyota Sienna, and it's just sitting on top of this carpeted base here that my friend had made. Under that base is the other base kicker. Now, I received from her also a butt kicker uh, complete unit, but the butt kicker itself was designed to go under a uh, swivel office chair, and that really was not conducive with this chair here. But butt kicker does offer some higher grade systems that utilize something very similar to this. So I was able to take wiring from here under this base that I'm sitting on, run it on the floor here, and to the butt kicker amplifier, as you see there. Um, so I have kind of a hybrid system, all right? So I took that, and once that was set up, uh, then I went into the uh, sound settings on Windows 11 and chose that my primary sound output was going to be to the butt kicker. Now I also used, and this again came from her, a Y splitter that went from my sound card. So part of the sound is going to my speakers while the other part of the sound is going to the butt kicker. Butt kicker itself has been known for racing simulation. Back, back around Thanksgiving, they came out with a product that is specific for flight simulator. So you see all these different effects that I can replicate in the sim uh, through the base kicker, butt kicker. And uh, some of them I have turned off. Some of them I have moved up from their default settings. And unfortunately, you can't hear these vibrations in this video, but definitely as I run my throttle up, I can certainly feel it. And as I'm rolling along the runway, you can feel, you know, any pits in the runway, uh, taking off, retracting the gear, you feel that gear coming up and locking into place. Uh, you feel the flaps coming up. And then again, when you're coming in for a landing and extend the flaps, you can really almost feel the deceleration of the aircraft as those flaps are cutting into the airflow. And same thing with the gear, and especially if you lower the gear above a safe airspeed, you really feel that. The other effects of turbulence and so on, it's really quite amazing. So what I was thinking about doing here kind of hard to see in the dark, but I was thinking about getting a small piece of wood 
and placing it along the back side of the rudder pedals and then securing this to the top. And then I would have vibration on uh, by my feet as well. But uh, check out my Facebook page, link in the uh, video below uh, for some more pictures and so on. If you've got any questions, if you want to try to set this up on your for yourself, I'm no expert at it, but I'll be glad to help you as I can. All right. Thank you for following my page. Keep the wings level and be safe.